I, I, I do with uh, I do counseling with women as well. Right. And um, I had a young lady who I had a I, I, who well shall remain nameless of uh, comic friend of ours. Uh, and sh uh, she's gone through some kind of a abusive situation with a dude. Guy was very emotionally abusive. And then he got this. He cut her off. And then she she kind of kept calling him, even though they had a screwed up thing. So it kind of signaled to him that she didn't feel like she had any value, like she was more into him than she was. And he just kept taking advantage of it. And when I, I said to her was, you know, the, the analogy I use is like if you're like if you look at somebody like Harvey Weinstein who took advantage of all these women, right? Whatever. Mm -hmm. But I always say this, what kind of boss do you think he was for dudes? He was an asshole on every level of that. You know what I mean? So there's a situation where where the, the just because there's not that sexual element, people who are abusive are going to be abusive anyway. You know, and there's no and, and I think people keep acting like they're uh, that they don't know what's happening. And so they don't have to be culpable for what they do. And I and I said, to her, I said to her, you're with this guy who is abusive. He's been abusive to you. He's been abusive to his girl before you. He's been abusive to the girl after you. If you are still communicating with him, you're going, I'm OK with the abuse. Doesn't matter what you say up front. It just your action yeah, no, you're tacitly um, condoning the behavior. Right. And exactly. I, th I think what's so strange, too, and, you know, this is what's so muddled about the Me Too of it all. And I actually had a conversation with Louis C.K. about this. Yeah. Because he had, and he's dealt with all this stuff in his special, but, um, you know, he, he kind of, if you look at the facts of the matter, he sort of asked permission to do yeah. this thing. And then. Years later, they come back and say, you know, this isn't OK. And, um, you know, this wasn't OK with me. Well, <clears throat> the thing that I've talked to people in Hollywood about when it comes to Weinstein, uh -huh. which, you know, there's just too much there. He's he obviously he was there's actually a, the smallest museum in New York City. It's called the M Museum. Um, and um, it's just museum with an extra M on the front uh -huh. of the, M at the end. <laughs> museum. And, um, <laughs> yeah, from museum, um, and um, it's great. It's great, and we know the people that run it. And uh, it's just—it's the size of a freight elevator, but it's called Object Journalism. And um, <clears throat> excuse me. So what um, is so amazing is about that? It's on. It's it's in a place called uh, Cortland Alley. Cortland so Alley. it's kind of it's kind of near Chinatown. It's in that area of downtown. I'm gonna pull up. And, and they, that's great. And you um, can online now. They're having like <coughs> appointments, and they have a copy of a letter that Bob Weinstein wrote Harvey Weinstein, and he right. talked about sort of this isn't okay, and you've been verbally abusive, you've been physically abusive to me, and you know your anger is kind of created, and so that's what it is: is you can allow a culture of abuse if you sort of you know even just by ignoring or not confronting someone's abuse. Yeah. You're saying to them, Hey, that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, what comes out of your mouth, you got to always go by what somebody's actions. The thing it gets me is this lack of culpability. It's there's, I absolutely, you know, I'm, I'm not somebody that says that I don't understand the toxicity of what was going on. I'm a black man in America. So if anybody understands people having a particular culture and perpetuating that culture, that's what it is. But you still can't go. You can't go. Um, I am an adult and I wanted to be I want to be treated like an equal and then have no culpability because you didn't open your mouth and say I don't like this or this is not OK or whatever, where and there, yeah, there has to be some kind of onus on that. I think that's absolutely right. Hold on one second. Um, so what I was going to say, and I can say this here and Kate, um, you know, she's somebody that uh, gets really upset because she truly is a feminist. She gets really upset with these women that are kind of, um, you know, pretending to be feminists. Yeah. And, um, 
they're really not. And she's like, you know, feminism is not about down with the patriarchy. It's about how do we achieve equality? Right, and exactly. Equality, and equality is not, I'm exactly equal to you. I should have all the opportunities you have. I should get exactly what you get. That's not the case. It's what are my strengths and how can I be treated equally as someone who can bring those strengths? What are your strengths? What right. are my weaknesses? <clears throat> you know, that idea of, the, you know, in, in any successful relationship, you need femininity and you also need masculinity. But the equality exists by allowing both of those people to be mutually respected for their strengths and weaknesses. And thus you bring it together. As mm. far as the wine scene thing goes, it's good kind of that, um, you know, this is a safe space to talk yeah. about this. Yeah. But along the lines of what you're saying, you know, these women come to my, um, my hotel room, you know, and him sort of, they am saying he's forcing himself on me. Right. Um, to give me oral sex, which is a strange thing to kind of force on to somebody is giving right. them oral yeah. sex. And Louis said something interesting, which was, you know, he said, I don't, I don't, I don't know about any of this stuff. There's no deposition. There's no tapes. None of this has been examined in the court of law. So he's like, nobody knows what happens there. And I think in Hollywood, a lot of people kind of quietly are saying, you know, these women, you know, there's a lot of things that women will do in the business to get that part. And Harvey Weinstein is not just a guy who can put you in an X-Men franchise. Right. He can get you an Oscar. And so a lot of people would, would pursue that. And would right, right. The, the, I there. think there's a I, and that's something that I say all the time. There's a no spectrum. There, yeah. There's definitely some girl who came off a farm from Oklahoma and has no idea what those what those cues are. Then there's somebody who understands the cues, but she's kind of willing to go far enough to uh, almost like she's making the deal. There's somebody who is absolutely frozen in time and, and just afraid and paralyzed. And then there's the chick who's going, I'm making the deal. I, yeah. this, and then and then after the deal, you want to go. I, I didn't make the deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like this was fucked up. You man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.